Hi guys and welcome back to F1 2016 Cop Career Mode. I'm Josh and Dave is not here, unfortunately. Uh, we were doing a live commentary, but my file had corrupted and it didn't pick up his voice. This is the postcom by yours truly. What you're watching at the moment are highlights of the race. Um, as you can see, going to start off with Super Softs. I feel like this race was actually pretty entertaining as you'll see later on in the video this is just me doing uh pretty sure it's starting or finishing the one shot qualifying yeah it was finishing the one shot qualifying i qualified at a measly seventh as you can see there um i was saying measly for mclaren hondo is good as you can see dave was right behind me and bun button in 11th um this race was sort of a up and down at first. I, I didn't know how it was going to go. I didn't know if it was going to be bad and it was going to be good because it's Bahrain. And being in a McLaren Honda on the straight, it's never going to end well. Um, especially if I'm up here battling with the likes of uh, you know, the Ferrari and the Mercedes, if I even got to there. I can't remember. Um, obviously, the Red Bull wouldn't be much of a challenge because their specialty is... You know the speed out of the corner is not straight line speed, although they have changed quite a bit this season. Apparently, I say this season for this season. Um, so as you can see, we're just waiting for everyone to come up, and it comes up to three red lights, four, five, and off we go. So surprisingly, I had a really good start. I didn't get bogged down. Um, I decided to uh, split the sandwich, so to speak, uh, or split the Ferrari sandwich able to make that turn just I feel like I got contact from Vettel on the outside but I wasn't sure um, and as you can see there was a yellow flag that was for an incident with the back markers I believe but uh, I was able to get a good exit get a good start to the race was able to take Ricciardo uh, I think <laughs> side by side at the moment are we are we tight squeeze tight squeeze tight squeeze tight squeeze uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have the inside line no seems like I was a bit reckless there trying to push him out uh, so moving on to the lap I do keep my positioning and I am able to catch up to a Rosberg but I wasn't able to take him um, trying to take a Mercedes <laughs> on Bahrain is near impossible as you can see Hamilton sets the fastest lap of the race uh, and then I do a couple of laps later uh, the lap later uh, we move on and I'm able to take Rosberg, I believe it was that I just passed, and move up into second. So a McLaren Honda in second. You don't normally see this every day. Uh, I am driving as Fernando Alonso, although I forgot to put my drive on. I just realised that. Damn. Oh well. You wouldn't want to drive as Fernando Alonso for one day. So, still trying to defend from Rosberg. I mean, yeah, defending against a Mercedes. Like, this is... It's, it's Mission Impossible. Like, someone call Tom Cruise, please, now. Like, make this a movie. Defend from a Mercedes. It's, I, I, no. Just, it's, it's nowhere near impossible. Although I have seemed to be able to do it. Uh, this turn here caught me out a couple of few times. You'll see later on in the video. You might, you might not. I don't know if I cut it out or not. Um, moving on, further into lap three. Uh, this is probably where I'm about to get burnt by the Mercedes. I mean, it's Rosberg, it's DRS. I believe I try to go to Rich, or do I even bother? Nope, I don't even bother, I just, I just don't even bother defending. So, although, hang on, I'm going side by side into these turns, that's, that's, that's fun. I give him the line, and yeah, there's that power of the Mercedes engine, just, just that short second. And he was able to just completely blitz by me. I mean, I am keeping up, to be fair, to myself. Do I actually take him? I mean, I'm keeping up with him. It's, it's going well. Just hope. Can I? Okay, it doesn't. No, it doesn't seem like it. Wasberg just completely. He's, he's leaving me in the dust at the moment. I mean, I am in a McLaren Honda, but I'm doing pretty impressive keeping up with him. Like I'm even in DRS and hang on, do I actually take Rosberg back? I feel like I have like the goldfish syndrome. I, I just I can't remember stuff that I've literally edited like a couple of seconds ago. Okay, no. I've got DRS and he's still pulling away from me like it's nothing. Yeah, okay. So as you can see, a couple of laps later on, lap five. Um this is my pit stop lap. 
uh, last episode, I got a penalty for pit stopping. This episode, made sure, slowed it down as much as possible without, you know, getting, you know, the warning for blocking the pit lane. Um, so, safe pit lane for this one. Uh, I'll go in. And it was a really good stop, a 1.9. I think it's 1.964. I'm not sure, I can't see because my preview is really tiny. Um, but yeah, so it was a really good pit stop by the guys. I was able to get out, get a good exit as well. Unfortunately, traffic sort of hindered my possible faster exit. But uh, I'm behind Hulkenberg at the moment. Hulkenberg, last episode, caused quite a bit of trouble for me and Dave. Um, mainly for Dave. Uh, he had a bit of fun at the end. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I take Hulkenberg quite easily. Although, something tells me it wasn't the nicest overtake. Yeah, I'll do a switch back here. Don't want to not switch back. I just take the inside line. Yeah, I, saw, I don't really push him out, but I do sort of squeeze him, I guess. So coming onto the DRS straight, the first DRS straight, yeah, the first DRS straight. Uh, Arianto in front, and I believe that's yep, that's Gutierrez ninth. So I get the DRS straight, and here I was pretty shocked that I wasn't able to take a mana. I mean, DRS and all, but still some mana. And uh, here I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I, you know, I thought I could get into that line, and I just pay the complete price for it. And to be fair, it was a dangerous re-entry to the track. I'm, Glad I, I was ghosted or Vettel ghosted, I'm not sure which. But uh, a couple of seconds later, I'm able to catch up to the people that overtook me. Uh, Vettel's still behind me somehow. And he's still not being able to overtake me with DRS, probably. But uh, I think the slipstream and the fact that I have DRS, as Dave says, a fast lap helps. And here, I, uh, it's like a hot knife through butter. I just, I was so mad at myself that I just had to make some sort of effort and I'll to be fair, that's probably one of the best moves I've done on an F1 game to date. And uh, Julian Palmer, I just easily overtake. I don't know if it's just me or and Dave, guys, but for us, Julian Palmer is really slow. Like, he's mana pace. Probably even slower than that at times. Could just be us, but he is really dreadful. Um, you know, if you guys are, if you guys agree, you know, mention in the comments and if there's other drivers that are just like that, you know, tell us who. Because Palmer seems to be the common one. That we get that is really really slow and you know i know the renaults aren't you know mid-pack you know they're back markers but there's slow and then there's palmer you know he's like a snail at times so as you can see here i think it's raikkonen yep no nope. i this preview <laughs> uh yeah it, it is raikkonen though so raikkonen is currently ahead of me i believe he's having a nice battle with someone actually I believe that's Gutierrez he's having a battle with um no it's not no that was Hulkenberg yep oh see so guys this is what happens when you have technical issues it screws with your brain no no it was Raikkonen but Hulkenberg is there as well so uh as you can see Harry Anto did go into the pit so I was catching up with Hulkenberg I'm guessing he overtook me when I had to spin out well he must have to be fair um, so I think about going down the inside, then going around the outside, but Hulkenberg defends well, and then it's literally going to be a carbon copy in a second. So going around these two corners, literally the same same situation. Then I do the cut back, then I do the same move, although we do get pretty close, even more close than the first time. I'm lucky there was no contact or penalty. Uh, fast forward on to the end of lap 8. As you can see, Button has just entered the pits, and now it's just a case of me trying my best to catch up. Uh, it's currently Gutierrez in front, and in front of him is Raikkonen. Um, Gutierrez is in a Haas. The Haas actually pretty impressive this, or last season, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, debut season, he was able to get some decent points. Not the best results at times, but some decent points for a new team. Uh, especially for an American team, you know, because in America's main, um, you know, racing sport is NASCAR. But uh, fast forward at the end of lap thirteen, it, there was literally nothing. I was it was me spending the good majority of time at the end trying to catch up to Raikkonen. But as you can see here, last lap DRS straight, and I take Raikkonen, and, and the pressure is now on. I am bricking it. I am literally. 
giving it the beans, the bifters, just the jiffy, just you know, whatever, you know, superbly you can come up with. I am trying my best to get this car to go faster than what it should do. To be fair, third for a McLaren Honda. I mean, that speaks volume. I mean, difficulty obviously helps with that, but still. Um, I'm not sure... I'm not sure how I done it, I'll be honest. I'm not sure how I was able to get up to third. I'm not sure how I was able to overtake Raikkonen, but it's still this, you know, there's still time for him to overtake me. Here, he seems to lose a bit of time. I don't know if he, you know, lost his back end or it was just something there. Well, I had a bit of a brake lock, I think, there. Um, but Raikkonen has DRS, because I know he's in time. As you can see here, at the end of the lap, end of the race, I'm running low on fuel. My engineer's probably screaming his head off for me to hurry up make it over the line solid third place finish if you ask me um can't do much you know about that it was just it was really difficult to defend i'll be honest there was some parts that i cut out that i probably shouldn't have but that was an intense you know last lap for me um and as you can see here another common thing is ricciardo out of the top 10 top 15 happened last race it happened this race but this is the standings as you can see uh so i jumped quite a few places and dave gained a few places as well and obviously typical suspects on the top as usual um it was a really good race i was really you know really enjoying it really getting into it uh dave was as well he had a few tough struggles but uh yeah as we can see here just scrolling down you know one hell of a race, uh, you know. It was, oh God, just thinking about. It, I just want to. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad I'm past it. But uh, yeah, just going past the top ten and then covering the last two who got points. As we see, we go into the constructions. It's Mercedes, Ferrari, Honda, which is pretty impressive. Red Bull, Williams, Toro Rosso, Force India, and then Haas, who picked up their first points of the season. And the typical lot round up the bottom two, three. But um, I'm sorry this commentary is awful, guys. I'm not used to doing post comms. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, you know, please leave a like, subscribe, and peace.